welcome to the next in our midweek series as we are going to worship remotely. We're continuing with our series, Silent Witnesses, and as you can tell by the picture up above, our witness tonight is going to be the nail. We're going to begin with our psalmody. God canceled the record of our debts by nailing it to the cross. O oh Lord, don't stay away from me. Come, Come quickly to my rescue. Save me from the sword. Save my life from those causes. Rescue me from those lions. I am helpless before these wild bulls. God canceled the record of our debts by nailing it to the cross. All my bones can be seen. My enemies look at me and stare. They gamble for my clothes and divide them among themselves. God canceled the record of our debts by nailing it to the cross. A gang of evil men is around me, like a pack of dogs who goes in on me. They pierce my hands and my feet. God canceled the record of our debts by nailing it to the cross. Excuse me. I wonder if I could give me a f just a few moment, yeah, minutes of your time. Here I go again. First I was talking with a thorn, then a rope. Now I'm talking, trying to talk to an old male. But that is the assignment. Excuse me. I understand that you witnessed some unusual happenings concerning the one they called Jesus of Nazareth. If that, is that true? Would you mind telling us your impressions of what took place? Just relax and tell the people what you recall. Let me start by saying, being a nail can be very boring. All that waiting until I'm needed, waiting until someone picks me from all the rest. Even then, when I'm finally used, I'll just stay where I am for as long as I last, holding two pieces of wood together. Boring. No, I guess I never thought about it. It's also awkward to admit that in order to be useful, I have to be hit on the head by a hammer. I guess some people are like that too. You need to keep your attention or motivate them to do what they're intended to be. But that's enough about me. You want to hear about what I witnessed that awesome day? Or was it an awful day? If you don't mind, we would really like to hear about that unusual day from your vantage point. Well, I was just resting on the pile with the other nails and a soldier came over and reached into the box and grabbed three of us. He wasn't particular which one of us he grabbed. See, I'm not special. Any nail could have done it, but my hopes were high for a few moments. I thought I was going to finally be used in an important way. Important. After all, it was a government official who needed me and my two associates. I see. My dream was shattered quickly, though. As soon as my head was out of the box, I could see that there was a horrible event taking place. It was what they called the crucifixion, a legal killing of criminals. I guess that they need us to hold a cross together. I imagine you were a bit of disappointed. I was crushed. I was a broken nail. All my hopes seemed shattered. Being part of a crucifixion wasn't the worst of it, though. Oh? It got even worse than I could have imagined. I found out that I wasn't going to hold two pieces of wood together to form a cross. No, I was to hold a human being to the cross. That's how it was done. You see, the criminals were nailed to the cross. I heard the crowd shouting and yelling. Crucify him, they yelled. Some cried and screamed. He's guilty of no crime. He's innocent. You can't kill an innocent man. That really made me feel uneasy. What if he was innocent? I'd be helping an innocent man. I'd be helping injustice to be done. That thought caused my whole being to feel as though it crumbled into a pile of rust and turned to dust again. It must have been frightening. Tell us more. The time came all too soon. I had complained about not being used for years, remember? And now I'm complaining about being used too soon. Anyway, a soldier came and picked me up roughly in his hand. He carried me over to a cross lying on the ground. There was a man lying on the cross, his arms outstretched, his eyes looking up into the sky. He didn't look like a criminal. What if he really was innocent, I thought. Before I could think twice, my point was pushed against the palm of the man's hand. That was the most peculiar moment. 
Can you tell us how you felt right then? I mean, realizing that instead of being pounded into wood, as nails usually are, you were about to be pounded into human flesh? It's hard to explain what I felt, and it's probably even harder to believe. Please try, anyway. When my point touched his open hand, I thought that was odd. His hand was wide open, as if it was inviting the nails to hold us to the cross. It wasn't clenched in anger. It was open and relaxed. Well, as I started to say, when I touched his hand, some peculiar feelings went through me. For one thing, I felt as though his hand had enough power in it to resist any nails it wanted to. There seemed to be strength beyond description, strength that could cause me to bend in submission if that's what he wanted to do. In addition to that strength, there was a softness, not weakness, mind you. I do know the difference. A softness which felt to me as though it must be what human beings call love. There was a warmth there, almost an invitation to touch him, and even to be driven through his hand into the rough wood of the cross. Strength and softness? Just then, a heavy hammer struck me on the head and drove me into that warm, open, powerful, soft hand. I broke no bones as it passed through. That seemed unusual, too. But hasn't this whole incident been very unusual? I held him to the cross through the whole ordeal until his body was removed. He died quickly, and that was it. Well, what happened then? I mean, we know what happened to him, but what happened to you? Your story can't end there. I was pulled from the cross and from his lifeless hand and tossed aside. That's all? That's it? The weather and time are taking their toll on me. I don't mind. I began as dust and am returning to dust. That makes me content. The best news is that it isn't my fault that that loving, innocent man was held to the cross. In fact, it's your fault. Your sins nailed him there. But it was his love for you that kept him there. And the result is now that he promises that even though you came from dust too, and will return to dust also, you have the promise of eternal life with him in a place where there are no crucifixions, no inhuman acts of hatred and injustice, only the warmth that I briefly felt in my life. I knew he was filled with love and power. I felt it. But aren't you glad he let his love and me hold it to the cross? Well, that's the way I witnessed that, what happened that day. I'll never forget it. By the way, I hope you won't need to be hit on the head with a heavy hammer in order to be used by him or motivated to remember this event. After all, it all happened for you. And if you think he did it because he loves you? Yes. Well, you hit the nail right on the head. Thank you. Thank you for telling us what you witnessed at that awesome event. How blessed you were to touch the hand of Jesus. How blessed you are that he has touched your hearts.
mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously protected us this day. We ask you to forgive us all our sins where we have done wrong and to graciously protect us all the days of our lives. Into your hands we commend all that is ours, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our yes. Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Share the good news. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.